injury as soon as you signed on for a club. It takes time. We've seen it with a few other players up and down the country where they get injured. Aquilani's one that comes to mind. But um, here's a chance now. Barini played through by Sturridge. And Gala did just enough. Down goes Sturridge right on the edge of the penalty area. And he's got the free kick. It must have been close to being a penalty. Isn't it? He's done well there, the referee. Could have been a penalty, really. Manuel de Costa <laughs> with the challenge. I think he's looked at the defender and see, seen where his legs were, and they were literally on the line, so... Here's your money on here. Alex to drive it. Wow. What a comeback. His first football of the season, and he's put Chelsea in front in the opening minutes here with a typical Alex Pyle driver. He does like to strike them, doesn't he? I don't think he gets this one as sweetly as he would like to have done. Again, as you see, the wall jumps, head it along the floor. Terrific, terrific free kick, and if he can last longer, then great. Well, I guess if he's enjoying it and the boys are playing well, if he wants to continue, I would think that's in his hands, but I doubt if he'll go too long in the game. I can't see him doing 90 minutes. Barini to Ferreira. Oh, flying save from Karuc. What an effort from Paolo Ferreira, who's not a man regularly on the score sheet, to put it mildly. Good solid challenge there by Alex. Given away by McEachern. This could be dangerous. And the long range strike from Jimenez is more than capable from that sort of range. It's been some good passing, Gary. Good attacking moves, especially by Chelsea. But uh, West Ham are still quite capable. Lovely ball from Matic again to Ben Gordon, who's trying to get him round the back of Tony Brooks. Right back did just enough. Barini tries to turn, then he goes down. And the eventual shot is saved by Ferrari, the left back, gets it away. All straight to Sturridge. What was he thinking? Well, Daniel Sturridge has got to hit the target there. And that was a gift. I was going to say he's getting closer, but he done exactly what he should do this time, Sturridge. He's... I think the idea was right. Sturridge, West Ham made a mess of that. Through to Salah. And Salah lifts it over, which is a shame because he worked the opening. It's a shame because the build-up play was pretty good. Out of play by Brooks. Here's Matic, just kept it in. Oh, lovely run. But Barini was just nudged off the ball. Now Clifford, oh, spilled by the goalkeeper, Barini. Teed up for Matic, who leaves it for Sturridge. And over the bar by McEachern. Well, West Ham defensively there were absolutely all over the place. The one thing that's been lacking. Great bit of uh, defending from Connor Clifford, but given away. Paolo Ferrer with a embarrassing pass in the end to set West Ham up for another strike on goal. Alex to Matic. Nicely fed inside to McEachern, and this is Sturridge. Good first touch. Oh, he's hit it over again. See the look of disappointment on his face, can't you? Head held down. Can Chelsea get this all important second goal? Borini, oh, totally doing Ferrari for pace. Near post, oh, in came Sturridge and didn't make contact. It's a tap in, isn't it? It's a simple tap in for him. Takes his off the ball there, Daniel Sturridge. Barini, great block by Angala. Super start by Fabio Barini, does well. Salah, McEachern. Now Connor Clifford. It's promising football again. Matic, Gordon, Connor Clifford lining one up, which is deflected into the keeper's arms. Well, Stanislas is over the ball, and he is capable of a fine long range strike. Five men in the Chelsea wall. as it is good save by Turnbull first he's had to make really and Montana can't keep it going shoveled away
I don't think they'd have anything to complain about, but uh, as I always say, at 1-0, it still gives you that little bit of belief, but Chelsea going forward again here. Sturridge neatly inside. Oh, missed. Well, that was a big chance for McEachern, wasn't it? And now getting more and more involved, and as a 16-year-old, it's always good to see the gaining confidence. Nice challenge from Magne. Here's Borini. Oh, beautifully away from Da Costa. Sturridge on for Salah. Oh, off the woodwork. Lovely Chelsea move. All that was lacking was the finish. Chelsea coming forward with Salah. Oh, it's four on three. Sturridge and Ferreira. Sturridge, goal! At last, Daniel Sturridge has something to smile about. He's had his chances in this game, but his tap-in has made it 2-0 to the Blues. Well, that's the broadest smile I think we'll see tonight. He's had his chance, as you say, Gary. What an opportunity there. He's got his first touch, has just bounced away from him. De Costa gets his foot in, but gets a lucky break. Daniel Sturridge and side foots the ball home, but you really feel he should have been doing better from the initial pass by Salah. But he gets a second bite of the cherry and makes no mistake. Gets it out to Ferreira, but his setup on his first touch just invited him to cross the ball in, just needed to be a little bit deeper. McEachern, Sturridge onside, shooting chance, beaten away by Kurutz. Sturridge. Sala made a great run here. He's in round the back. He's in the middle. Barini! Oh, what a fabulous goal! 3 0 to Chelsea. Fabio Barini's third of the season. And three points for the Blues guaranteed now. Excellent. Best of the lot, wasn't it? What a break this is. West Ham don't get tight at all. Daniel Sturridge gets the opportunity to turn and just roll in into Sala's path. And his ball in was excellent. I was just thinking as he's approaching it, I hope he doesn't check out from delivering the ball in. He doesn't. He doesn't disappoint. Fabio Barini inside that six yard box. Super little finish by him. Keeps his eye on the ball as it. You'd certainly never catch, uh, catch Clarkey throwing in the towel, would you? It's 400 odd games in Chelsea. Clifford. Oh, what a lovely ball to Barini. He's in here. Oh, magnificent finish from Fabio Barini. He scored two goals in the space of four minutes, and Chelsea are four up here. Well, it's great to watch, isn't it, when the gaps appear at the back for West Ham. Super ball by Connor Clifford. It's the first touch that sets it up. I thought he might have taken it on first time on his left foot. Takes the extra touch and then spins it in with the outside of his right boot past the goalkeeper. I say goalkeeper probably should have done better. Here we see it from behind. Oh, it's a bit close to the action, isn't it? It's Definitely uh, always going to put a stop to that, weren't they? Gordon inside. Oh, Sturridge, beautifully done. Just couldn't finish it off. The West Ham boys are just desperate for the final whistle here, Clive. <laughs> They're not showing any no, ambition at no, all, no, are they? Not at all. And, and, and the game had gone for them, I think, after two. But as always, when you get in an advanced position like they are now, Nubel going for it. Oh, and Chelsea won't get the clean sheet. That was a fine turn and shot from a former Chelsea player. Frank Nubel beating Ross Turnbull, who gives a wry smile. 4 1. Well, it puts a little bit of a smile on Frank Nubel's face, I'm sure, but Chelsea not getting close enough to the shot. And it's a decent enough one, isn't it? Top corner. It's all the disappointment on Ross Turnbull's face. Again, as we talked earlier, disappointing that we've actually given a goal away especially at this late stage of the game.